Even in the era of Dan Carter, Richie McCaw is thought to be arguably the greatest rugby player on the planet. He is the master of the breakdown area and never hesitates to put his body on the line when it matters. He is certainly the best open side flanker of his era and he not only dominates around the ruck but he has the speed, strength and vision to dominate in the loose. Carter offloads immediately then to Nonu. He's well held on this occasion. Look at the options available though to New Zealand from this sort of position. Collins makes the half break. Couldn't offload but sets it up. Kelleher again to the little side for Carter. Good ball inside to Williams. McCaw charging for the try line. And Richie McCaw caps a superb all round display with the try that he so richly deserves. Chance for Kelleher to get things going again. Gaps appearing all over the place. Umanga hands it off to Rokothoko. Lovely support play. Smith again. Well tackled. Couldn't get the ball away either. But now New Zealand come up to play them all in game. Backs doing the job of forwards, loose forwards as well. Finally creating the score. McCaw scores again his second try in a few minutes. After eye-catching performances at under-19 and under-21 level, McCaw was given his first cap against Ireland in Dublin in 2001 at the tender age of 20. McCaw soon earned the respect of both his opponents and his peers. So much so that he was handed the captaincy for the first time against Wales in 2004 when he was just 23. He was subsequently made full-time captain in 2006. McCaw played a big part in New Zealand's Tri-Nations triumphs in 2002 and 2003 and he then cemented his growing reputation at the 2003 World Cup despite the All Blacks being defeated by Australia in the semi-finals. He finally made the permanent move to open side flanker in 2005, the same year the All Blacks defeated the touring British and Irish Lions. In 2006, he won the IRB Player of the Year, an award he would subsequently win on two more occasions. McCaw then led the All Blacks in the 2007 World Cup, where they failed to do themselves justice, losing to France in the quarter-finals. In 2010, McCaw finally surpassed Sean Fitzpatrick's record of 39 test wins as New Zealand captain, when the team defeated Wales. Reckon. So it's a big shove from the All Blacks oh, and Richie really McCaw easy. goes across and scores an easy try. Australians close the gap very quickly. Here's McCaw! Right. Richie McCaw gets the opening try. He couldn't believe the gap that opened up and there was no stopping him. Looks to be going to the right to Woodcock, quickly on to Soyalo. Drives a couple of metres. And they've got an advantage. Now it's with Smith. Smith charging. Back to McCaw! Richie McCaw! He's back. He is back. Fielded again by Carter. Puts it on the boot and chases and gets it! McCaw! Richie McCall would be remembered as a great athlete, a great captain 
and the consummate modern professional.